What's going on everybody? This is Robotic Dream here and today we're going to be going over zips, clips, and skips that we use in the any percent speedrun. And this is going to be focused on the harder skips in the run. What you learn here today can be applied to different levels in the game. And if you want to learn how to set up this game for speedrunning, I'll have a link in the description for the whole technical aspect side of this but yeah let's get into it so we're gonna be learning the tutorial skip and you just want to jump down here climb up here then we're gonna do a wall spin and once you get if you do a wall spin towards the end of a wall it will cancel out the animation and you will go straight left or straight right depending on the corner so we're gonna do that and we're gonna hold up left to hopefully grab onto the rail. This can be kind of RNG as to whether or not you're going to bonk, but you just gotta do it and hope for the best. Like that. And then you're gonna climb up, and then you're gonna jump, and you're gonna hold up right, and then pivot that to forward. And that's that. Okay, this is really difficult to understand. So, you're going to want to distance yourself away from the taxi and then jump and hold forward. You're going to want to line yourself up a little bit off center from the taxi, so to the left. And then when you get close to landing on the taxi, you're going to remove up. And he should land like this. So once you land like this, you're gonna jump directly straight up and land on the second tier. And then you're gonna position your camera towards the pillar here and press up and jump forward. So it looks easy there, but it can be really difficult sometimes to land on the car without falling off so you just kind of have to practice that for this pull here we're gonna climb up until we hit the barrier and then we're gonna press intuition to clip through the barrier then when we get to the right spot we're gonna press B and hold up to grab the ledge so intuition and just like that we're going to be clipping through the ledge here in subway tunnels. We're going to want to jump and hold up left, but we want to hold up left in the middle of the jump because if we do it too early, train will bonk his head on the pipe here. So yeah, let's get it started. And then you're going to want to hold forward and you should get this angle. So once you get the angle, you're going to buffer with the inventory wheel here and then you're gonna buffer without any input on the joystick like that then you're gonna press crouch out of unbuffer and you'll be like that so from here you're gonna want to drop down hold up and mass jump if you wait too long you'll clip in back in bounds so like that and you will be in the final room okay we're gonna be learning how to do the zip here in the layup and for the jump to get onto the the beam there I use the O and Metro as my point to do a, a wall jump like that then we're gonna move past the the platform down there because if you're too far forward you'll catch onto that beam right there so you just want to make sure you're past there and the first thing we're gonna do is a neutral jump and hold intuition what that does is it snaps train to the beam if you try to do a zip without doing that for some reason train isn't really connected to the beam and most of the time the zip doesn't work 
So if we do that, the zip will work every time. So we're gonna press up and we're gonna press jump and upright and hold intuition like that. So the main problem people have with zips is they're doing the inputs too fast and getting confused or they're pressing a directional on the joystick while trying to do the zip. So the only thing you need to focus on is holding intuition, pressing crouch, and then releasing intuition like that. And you're good to go. Press uh, attack. And then when you get to the white tag up in the right hand corner, that is one you should drop. You'll be clipped there. Okay, so this one is a really advanced setup and we're gonna be pressing jump and then we're gonna press the crouch button to cancel it. Then we're gonna hold down left until we land and then jump and hold up and that'll get you to over here. And then from here, you're gonna jump and press up left and hold the, the evade button or B and that will allow you to run on the ledge here. Then we're gonna hold up and press um, inventory. Then we're gonna press down for one frame and press inventory again. And that'll put train like this. And then we're gonna press the, graf the graffiti button out of inventory. And that will put them in this state. And we're just gonna finish the piece. And then we're gonna wait till we get the number there for the reputation and then press it again to finish the piece again. Do it again. Then there. And that skips all the main graffiti pieces for this area. Okay, this is a little mini tutorial for the meat packing plant movement. So you're gonna jump here. I hold down left, but you can hold down as well through the entire jump until you land. And then you're gonna jump right and you'll be on the ledge here. Then you can just do a wall jump here, grab on, run into the fence, then jump on it, and then jump down. So for the graffiti clip in Van Art Chill Space, what I like to do is get into this position here, then jump towards the wall. And then when I land, I press inventory, and I hold crouch and graffiti and left out of inventory, like that, and you'll clip through. And then I hold up for five seconds, maybe like three or four. Then I hold right, and that'll get you through. Yard entrance is more of the same thing. I like to come on, on the right side here and aim slightly towards the left of the center of the piece and jump, hold up. And then when I get to the wall, press sneak and graffiti and that clips you through. Now we're going to be doing the jump off of the tower and amusement pier. So we're going to press jump, press intuition and hold it and press down left then when we land we're gonna jump so up intuition down left and jump and just kind of pivot it towards forward so from here you can either jump onto this fence and drop down to the right and be careful around the edges here because there is a a kill zone on the edge so it's an instant death but what I like to do is I like to jump on this invisible box in the corner and then just drop down. And for this here, you just want to make sure you're on the left side of the center of the fence here and train will grab the, the lock the first time. Okay, for the freeway zip, you're going to want to kill yourself. And what that does is it loads in the final cutscene. If you don't 
kill yourself there, the game will crash. What you want to do is you want to jump towards this here and just be a little bit away towards the edge here. And we're going to jump and press intuition and then crouch and release intuition. And then we're going to press up to climb up. Then we're going to drop down and then we're going to attack. And we're going to immediately and then press left to turn and walk forward and then jump down. Okay, for exterior CCK, I'm just going to show this one, but I wouldn't really recommend it. There's a lot of ways it can fail. One, you can over jump the ledge here and just die instantly. Or you can land on the ledge and fall back inbounds. Or you can land on the ledge and get a bad jump to do a wall jump off this wall here. But we're going to do it anyways. So we're going to jump, hold forward. And then land and then do a wall jump here then it's down right and pivot towards upright as the camera changes and you should land here but yeah I wouldn't really recommend that so for the other one here you're gonna want to get all the way to the right then you're gonna jump and mass jump to not grab the metal grates there and then once you jump off you're gonna hold down When you get to this room, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to die to load in the cutscene. So you're just going to do a wall jump and then hold down right. Okay, so now we're going to be doing a floor clip zip. And you just want to get in a corner here and up here and face the wall. So it's almost identical to a normal zip. So we're going to press jump, we're going to hold intuition, but we're going to press crouch and that's going to put them all the way into crouch. Now you're going to still be holding intuition and only intuition, then you're going to press left, then you're going to release intuition and that will clip you through the floor and then just press B to drop down. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the zip for SFC hideout. You're just going to take a few steps forward, and then you're going to turn around, press jump and intuition, and cancel it, then jump in intuition and down left, and then crouch and release intuition, and then attack. So this one's a really slow one, but all you want to do is wait till you see the iPod, and wait till train touches it, then drop down, and you should be good. And you just want to jump towards the exit. And don't worry if you jump over the trigger. Um, you can jump back into the trigger if you land on the, the roof where you have to fight the boss there. Okay, for the last one of this tutorial, we're going to be doing Port Authority. And everything you've learned so far, you should be able to apply that to the rest of the run. We're going to be doing a graffiti clip here and this one can be really tricky because the inputs are different after you land we're just gonna go towards it we're gonna get it ready and then we're gonna press right to do the clip here so like that and you'll be in the ground now continue holding the graffiti button so what that does, it allows you to move freely when you're holding the graffiti button. Now the reason we wanted to hold right there, because if you hold left, you'll clip underneath the, the poster here and you'll clip through the floor. But if you hold right, you'll stay in the ground. And it doesn't matter which direction you're coming from, it always, it only works if you're holding right for some reason. But once you're here, you're going to want to hold down right with the graffiti button. Keep holding that and press attack. Until you get to pass there. But if you're still holding the graffiti button, it allows you to change your position. So if you overshoot the door, you're able to correct that. So we just make our way towards the door here. A little bit before 
Then you're going to want to hold down and release the graffiti button. And just kind of wiggle it and you'll clip through. Alright, so that concludes everything. And hopefully this helps somebody learn the run and we get some new runners. And that is all. Later. Come back here.